Good morning, it's Wednesday the 5th of July and if you have your Bibles, turn to Galatians 2 verse 20, Galatians 2 verse 20, one of the first scriptures I ever memorized uh, when I became a Christian, but I hope you got a decent cup of coffee, there's an espresso this morning. Mm. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. As I say, it's one of the first scriptures that I remember memorizing as a new Christian. And it's awesome to to hold on to the fact I have been crucified with Christ. And what we're talking here about here is a mindset, a a value that we seek to live out in our everyday life. You see, the way you see yourself and the way you see yourself responding out of the circumstance or out of the situation that you're in, the way that you see self responding makes all the difference. If I have a a complex, a scarcity complex, and I feel that I have nothing to contribute and I have nothing to give and I everything that I have is so scarce, I have to hold on to it, it's all that I have. And then life asks of me to get involved, to to spend some time with someone. Um, I'm very hesitant and reticent. I don't, I don't stretch. I don't give. I don't reach out. If I have a majority complex or I have an excessive abundance uh, approach to life, then I just can't wait for people to ask me to contribute, to be a part of, to get involved in, because I have so much to give. And so the way I see my situation determines how I respond to a a new question or a new uh, situation that's forced upon me or comes across my path. What's happening here is Paul is saying, you know what, I was under the law and tried to justify myself under the law and doing everything according to the law and living a good life and realized that I could get absolutely nothing right. And in order for me to open up the life of grace, the life of God's giving me through Jesus Christ the ability to do life in abundance and with excess and with with victory, I need to realize that it's not my works, it's not the law, it's not being good, it's dying to self and living for Christ. I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I that live, but Christ who lives in me. And as I accept that attitude, as I accept that place of beginning, that foundation, then my whole approach to life becomes a grace response because I'm living grace. I'm not living works. I'm not living to please people. I've been accepted through the blood of Jesus Christ. I've been placed in a place of righteousness because of what he's done for me. And so I don't have to respond by winning your favor, by pleasing you, by getting your acceptance. I'm already accepted. I'm already pleasing. I'm already a pleasant aroma. I'm already the aroma of life to Christ, to God in Christ Jesus. So I respond not with competing or not with vying for your attention, not with trying to please you, but just being. So I give myself so much more freely out of the grace that I've already received and I become a grace giver and not just a grace receiver. That's why Galatians 2.20 is such an important thing, which the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. He loved me. He gave himself. Ek is klaar vir lief. Ek is klaar aanvaardbaar. Ek is klaar wie ek is, en dit was goed genoeg vir Jesus Christus. En hy is die een wat in en dier my die verskil maak in elke dag. Ek hoef nie te wees nie. Uh, ek hoef nie te, te wees wat ek nie is nie. Ek hoef nie nog te probeer. Ek moet net aanvaard en wees. 
and that changes my whole approach to life. So have a wonderful Wednesday. May you be a grace giver as you live the life you live in the flesh by faith in Christ Jesus. To hear your voice and live today.